Hi, I'm Jim Bones Mackay, Director of Divot Retrievals for Phil Mickelson Enterprises. We're here today at Greyhawk Golf Club in Scottsdale, Arizona. It's the home of the 2007 Prize Electronics Open. This morning, we're going to take you media stiffs out on the course and have a look at the last four holes of the Rafter course. So you guys tear yourself away from the buffet and we'll take a look at these exciting finishing holes for the upcoming championship. Let's go. Okay guys, here we are. We're on the 15th hole at the Rafter course, a downhill 320 yard par four, very drivable for the tour players. You guys will probably want to throw a nine wood out there and hope to get on, you know, in two or three shots. But these guys are going to drive it down there in the front bunkers or even on the green and make three. But let me tell you something, these guys better create themselves a good angle for their second shots or they're going to make five instead of three. Here we are at the 15th green. As we said earlier, these players are going to drive it right in front of the green or in one of these bunkers. And all these guys are going to want to remember here is that you want to create an angle for your second shot. So when the pin's on the right front, the right bunker is not a bad place to be. You're basically pitching up the hill. When the pin's on the front left, this center bunker is a great place to be. The 15th hole will yield a lot of birdies, but let me tell you something, if you don't create yourself a great angle, you're going to be dealing with slopes like this. Okay, so here we are in the beautiful downhill par 3 16th. 210 yards to a small green with water on the left and a natural amphitheater surrounding the green. This hole is going to be extremely exciting. It's a hole where you can put the ball in the middle of the green and take your three and run. But if you try and make two, you're bringing a lot of things into play like the water and the sand. This 16th is a lot like the 16th a mile down the street, minus about 10,000 drunks. So here we are out in the 17th fairway. This fairway is so wide, you guys would have no problem hitting it. But this is where the fun begins. It's a two-tiered green with a large swale to the left. You'll see a lot of birdies to the front pins, but as the PGA Tour staff starts moving these pins back, things start to get a little hairy. We talked earlier about how there will be a lot of birdies made here early in the week on 17. But as the tournament progresses and the pin positions get a lot tougher, things are going to change. When the PGA Tour staff puts the pin here, arguably the toughest pin position on the course, and the guys get sloppy and miss the green to the left, it's an automatic five. Here on 17 green, you're going to see both birdies and bogeys. When the PGA Tour staff chooses to put the pins down front, you're going to see a lot of guys making three. They can not only hit a short iron in their close, they can also use the natural backboard behind the pins to get the ball to come closer to the hole. One thing you're going to hear a lot about the week of the Fry's Electronics Open here at Greyhawk is the valley effect. All that basically means is the ball breaks towards the valley. For those of you who can't find it, that's a mountain, there's the valley. Here we are at the 18th hole of the Raptor course at Greyhawk Golf Club. At 520 yards, this hole is normally a par 5 for you and me. With the week of the Fry's Electronics Open, it'll be a par four and one of the best closing holes on the PGA Tour. When the players get to the 18th tee here at the Raptor course, they're going to have a lot on their mind. But here's one more thing for them to consider. Don't be too concerned with the water on the right. The key to this hole is to avoid the bunker on the left side of the fairway. Okay, so we've avoided this bunker on the left here at 18. The players have now come down here and have to play their second shot from a downhill lie on this 18th fairway. The 18th grain is no bargain either. It's surrounded completely by water, it has a severe bunker on the left, and the green pitch is left to right. And oh, by the way, good luck stopping your ball from 225. As you can see here on 18, there's absolutely no bailout. With the water on the right and this severe bunker to the left, the guys have a lot to deal with. The green pitches severely from left to right, and when you add in the valley effect, they've got a lot on their hands. And oh, by the way, those guys that think they can get the ball up and down any bunker, check this out. Okay, guys, we're wrapping this up here at Greyhawk Golf Club. 
I hope you guys have a great week at the Fry's Electronics Open. I'm going to go play some golf. You guys hit the buffet. I'm Bones. I'm out of here.